Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. No, don't don't cry. I can't. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In the last episode, we got some more backstory on Jay here, especially for me because I've never played the first two Baldur's Gate games, so it's nice to see like where she comes from, her family, all that. And at the same time, Gail has got a message from Mistra. She wants to see him, though I don't trust her. That's probably going to be the next thing we're going to deal with. I'm just kind of nervous because I don't think she's really being honest and then we also dealt with the murders we found the murderer stopped him but there's a bigger plot at play so we're gonna also have to deal with that oh and then also i managed to find david for carlac so her engine is getting better so i'm very happy about that <laughs> okay i don't know what this is it's called the lodge um hello Oh, well met. I am the society's leading expert on myconid sport. Oh, oh wait! Is but this the, the guy that we met in the Underdark with the Mind Flayer? Of spores, you see? Oh, I miss them, those myconid spores. Uh. I feel quite right without them. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have been Is he high? So quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Sir? <laughs> okay. I'm compiling a translation dictionary so warring species of the Underdark can understand each other. It's an essential step forward. That's cool. What about you, sir? What do you do? I have something to ask. Ah, a surface dweller. You find yourself in the cradle of oh, all Oh, you're a draconic as well. To the Underdark. The Society of Brilliance. Tell me, what can the Society do for you? Oh, oh, I know who this is. It's not the Underdark people, right? It's that lady we met at the crash. I met an expeditioner claiming to work for you. She sought a Githyanki egg. Yes, dear Lady Esther, one of our most reliable contractors. Though unfortunately, this particular request was too much. Yeah, I didn't get an egg for her because I, I didn't want to do this it. Whole invading <laughs> army mess outside the walls. I'll find another contractor. Perhaps they will have more success. Does she die or something? Was there anything else? I should really get back to my research. Um, feel no. free to explore the lodge. Our knowledge is here for the common good, after all. That's cool, huh? So I can just look at whatever. Oh, Blurg! No, he is here! My surface dwelling friend. Hey! How long has it been? I am glad to see you well. I see your tadpole remains in its state of suspension. Yeah. Your case has set us on quite the detour from our planned expedition work. We've thought about very little else. Where's all of them? In the field, seeking further subjects for study. Though it has been gone for longer than I anticipated. After observing the go? nature of your tadpole stasis, we felt it wise to report back to the society. Omeloam went out into the city to seek out further oh, undeveloped no. infections like yours. But I he might he is lost, since, captured, or dead. Admit, One of those. I'm somewhat concerned. We are usually sticklers for updating one another on our progress. I can go look for him, I guess. You know, it's fine. Um, I'll track all of them down. Where was he headed? Omeloam believed or it. the answer to this riddle lay within the city walls and held some connection to the cult of the Absolute. I Maybe we can learn something. I had the distinct impression it was intentionally keeping its hypothesis from me. As though even the theory would be enough to put me in danger. Why that would be, I can only theorize myself. It is rather outside my area of expertise. Omeloam is most likely safe and well, and simply absorbed in its work. However, it would put my mind at rest to confirm it if you happen across its path. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I mean, we'll look for him. I'll head out now and see if I can find Omelum's trail. Of course. I should get back to my research. Good luck with that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's right. He was part of this. That's pretty cool. During what they call night. I still can't get used to that. Once I publish my paper, proving that it's just hyena mite infections that make Noel so angry, I'll be famous. Oh, um, yeah, sure, if that's what you believe. Oh no, what's happening now? You sleep, but the wicked don't. Someone is here to disturb <gasps> your rest. Get the hells away from me! No! Oh, they're Cazadors! Oh, sh Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, no sorry, no. Get away from us. That's right. The master needs him. He must attend. Oh, I'm well aware of what the master needs. But don't we deserve better? Better? Y right, right. What do you mean, better? After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. Ooh, maybe you can convince him. That's kind of good. The right of profane ascension will be mine. Babe, uh, we talked about this. Of its glory. I am going to complete the ritual as the ascendant, and then I am going to kill him. This is your chance. Stand with me. Name me your new master. We will get our revenge. And you will all live again. His liar's smile spells danger. He knows full well that his kin will die in the ritual. But if oh any of the bearers gosh. of the scar die before the ritual begins, he will lose his chance to perform the Don't rite make himself. me pick he this needs option. Them to run willingly to their deaths, thinking they stand a chance against their master. I, of course, I love siding with the Sarian. Like, I want to make sure that he knows that I always have his back, but I don't want him to do it out of malice either. Because I know he's never going to get satisfaction in the end. Even if he kills Kazador and he doesn't ascend, I know he's not going to be happy about it. I mean, we see that with Dame Aileen, and I know it's going to happen to Karlak too. Like, these characters are suffering, and they think, you know, revenge is the only way to get back at them. And. It's sad because you know that they need more than that to heal. I strongly believe Asterion knows that. It's just that he's in denial still. I, f I firmly believe that he's in denial still. He thinks this is the only way. And like, I, I don't know if he's going to get extremely upset with me, but I feel like I can't let him do this. You know, I can't let him just sacrifice them in order to fight like we can take on Kazura that's fine we have a whole party I'm not worried about that I'm just more worried about him doing this because there was another thing I was thinking about if he does ascend into a vampire lord or whatever does he change like will he be different because as a spawn it seems like he's still himself except for the fact that he can't walk the sun and he needs blood but when you become like a full-fledged vampire, do you change? I don't know how the rules are for D&D &D when it comes to vampires. But some stories, I know for, for a fantasy standpoint, the vampires do change. Like some lose their emotions, some change their personalities entirely. Like it, it depends on the situation. And that's kind of what made me wonder about him too. Like, will he change in a bad way? And that's kind of what I'm nervous about. I'm going to have to call him out. I'm sorry. I love you, but this ain't right. Have you no heart, Astarian? You're you're asking them to die for you in this ritual. I'm so sorry. I have to tell him. Don't look at me like that. With the sweet little disappointed I'm not getting cuddly Astarian pout. I can't take it. I can't be what you want to see in me. Die in the ritual. Oh, that was an interesting line. Of. We are going to cheat on death. Whoa, that was that was actually kind of interesting. You kind of called me out there. I will accept that. I can't be what you want me to be. Or what you see in me. 
Because I see the potential of him being a good person. But he doesn't- he doesn't want to be that person. At least he doesn't think he can. Maybe he thinks he can't- des he doesn't deserve it or anything. I don't know. You're slaughtered lambs, all. Kazuro needs your souls. The master doesn't need to lie to us. He controls us. Fully. Why go through the trouble of giving us hope? Because it's more cruel. We're doomed. Yeah, you guys know him. All right. What do you need from us? We'll help you. No. What's happening? No. The bonds hold. He owns us. Oh no, we're gonna have to we fight. We have no choice. We must obey. Get out of here, Astorian. Before. Ah, shit. Yeah, we have to fight. Yeah, he's gonna- Damn! He's gonna make us do it. Son of a- Okay, I'm gonna comment on what Astarian talked about, what he said to me, in a second. <sighs> okay, let me see what we are dealing with. They're all about the same, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Something different. Oh, he's, he's saved by it. Interesting. Okay. Oh my god, is everybody in danger at camp? Are we all gone? Okay. Just making sure nobody's like hanging around by accident. Oh, did you just heal yourself? Oh, they're healing themselves. Okay, I think we need to focus on one person at a time because they're- yeah, they're definitely healing themselves. Okay. Gale? Hmm. Oh, oh, what? Can I shove you? Yeah, good job, Gale. <laughs> I just got an idea. Do you think I could knock them out? Is that a possibility? Am I allowed to knock them out? No, even if we do knock them out, Kazador is still gonna control them regardless of what we do, right? It doesn't matter. Excellent. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, you're next. <laughs> Damn, they're just healing themselves. Shouldn't the light be able to like... Need to I don't know. Maybe I should have done blade instead. Too far away. Yeah, he's still healing himself, I think. Jesus Christ! I wonder if this is worth the cost. It's not. All of this is so confusing just because I. The repercussions towards Astarian, which makes me really nervous. What a mess. Well, at least you've met my family now. Yeah. I don't think you can force him. Because apparently the tadpole is like protecting him, right? Oh my god, I... Ugh. His line though, you you can't make me what you what you see in me. 
Like, I, he won't do it. I strongly believe people can change. Genuinely, I do believe it. And sometimes, yeah, people don't want to change because they just simply don't want to. I feel like for Astarian, he has to learn that on his own. No matter how much I say to him, like, I see good in you, you're a good person, yada yada. Even all the party members, they always say, you know, Astarian's weird, but they all like him. <laughs> and they always say, like, he deserves better. Karlik especially, he deserves better. And stuff like that. But Astarian needs to learn by himself. Like, we can support him all we want, but he needs to, like, come to that terms himself unfortunately if that means going to kill Kazador, sure if it means doing the right then yeah i guess it has to be that way it's just it's sad because like i feel like even if you know our characters are in love with each other he's he really doesn't believe he deserves any of it so they're not dead right we just kind of like made them vanish i don't know had we killed them, Kazador wouldn't be able to complete the ritual. He wouldn't throw away centuries of planning on a scrap like this. They were pulled back just in time. Oh, okay. He will be furious. <laughs> and he'll be even more furious when I get to that crypt and stop him. For what it's worth, thank you. No matter what happens down there, you helped me stand up against him. Yeah, you're welcome. In that regard, sure. <laughs> Not the kind of excitement I usually enjoy being woken up for. <laughs> What's Still, that mean? Better than not waking up at all. Or waking up as something else entirely. I dare Kazador to send more lackeys our way. This is our territory. I'll crack anyone who tries to come into my house and hurt my people. I love her so much. She loves everybody a lot and it's really sweet. It sounds like all we need to do is fix your engine to, uh, is to find some infernal iron. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. She must miss that a lot. We got some some infernal metal. What should we do with it? Yes! <laughs> we need to go find Damon. I'm going to get a hug soon. Oh, can we hug Karlak? Um, what do you think of our hero Jahira's house? She must have freaked out. I don't know what I was expecting. Something beyond real. Yeah. My life would have been so different if I ended up working for her instead of Gortash. Looking after these kids. Making a difference. I was gonna say... Maybe in the next life. Oh, that's so sad. I was gonna say that Karlik probably would have loved it if she was working for Jahira instead. Gazador is keen to greet his wayward son once more. With open arms. Or iron shackles. Yep. Those vampire spawn came for Astarian, didn't they? Lucky for him that we were here to fight them off. Yeah, I imagine if he was by himself. Not saying Asarian can't fight for himself, but like they would outnumber him. Vampire spawn. One's proven enough, let alone a horde of them. Vampire spawn assailing us in the night. I thought we had ample troubles as it was. At least Astarian is safe. I love how everyone cares for him so much. It's so sweet. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Whoa, what the hell? <sighs> have to keep going. This corpse has been desecrated. Displayed. And there's nothing random about it. Fake Oh, <gasps> that's the Balthazar! Is that the Balthazar guy? Remember he said he took his body? Oh no. Is this the real guy? Oh no. Circus clothes. What an end for Dribbles the Clown. Yo, how many pieces of Dribbles the Clown am I gonna find? Effigy of Balthazar who lacked ambition. What is his use for refusal? He thought himself free, but the destiny claimed his corpse the same. Below is Gadget's signature of Orin the Red. Alright, is this the temple or where we're supposed Stone to be missed from? Tabernacle. Oh god, here we go. Hello? Oh, there's Mistra statue. Mistra, saloon. Who's this? Tear and helm. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. 
Mistress Lightness. It's been some time since I stood before her in a place like this. Who's this over here? Statue of the Gods. Greetings, child of faith. Hi. And welcome to the Stormshore Tabernacle. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Um... Are holy items available for here for purchase? Of course, my child. Within limits. Behold my wares. Listen, if he has something good, I'll take it. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. This is going to be the very interesting for both of us. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Yeah. Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic, as though the weave itself were coursing beneath her stony skin. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Go on then, Gail. We'll be here waiting for you when you're finished. Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mr. again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to be supportive of him. You're ready for the scale. Am I? You're right. I am a strong, capable wizard. Yes, you are. This is no more than a casual reunion with oh, an Oh, God. <laughs> my omnipotent, omniscient ex-lover. Don't think of it Only like that. What being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Yeah. Do you know what you're going to say to her? During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Oh, God. Do <laughs> you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go? Um, uh, I want to say you're not taking me with me, but like, don't give anything away is like something I would. Don't give anything away. Just find out what she has to say to you. You'd make a fine three dragon anti player, you know? Thank you. I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Approach it like a particularly high risk round of three dragon anti. I'll let Mistress show her flight, and then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. Oh god, oh god. He's going by himself, oh no! <laughs> oh! Gale of Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies Oh at damn, the heart she's hot! Oh absolute, sh <laughs> The crown of Karthus. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of Girl, me. Girl, I just realized they had matching ask earrings! Me. Remember. Oh, he's so you not over my her. Mother, my chosen. Yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity. Nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted... Half-born magic, wrought in the brief moment Karsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. I will agree you with her on that. something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. I will agree with her on that. That is kind of true. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Karsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. 
down. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. Oh, Great that's what she wants. Indeed. You've given me much to think on. As you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I, I do agree with what she says. Like, in terms of, like, him never getting, like, enough magic and stuff like that, too much power in, in someone's hand, like Gale, or any human mortal person, whatever, it's too much to deal because you don't know how they're gonna react. And I'm not saying Gale's gonna become, like, a full-blown villain or something like that, but part of the reason why he wants the crown is because he wants to get back at Mistra for, like, what he did to her. Part of the reason why Gale wants the crown is to get back at what she did to him. He's still emotional. Back on mortal soil once more. I can't believe I saw her. Yeah, he's After still in love time. with her. Oh my god. I, <laughs> I really don't know how people can romance Gale. And not in terms of his character. He's a sweet man. But the fact that he's still in love with Mr. I don't know how people could do it. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Her power felt overwhelming even from here. And what you felt was but the slightest drop drawn from the rushing torrent that is the weave. I confess. Now my former prowess, even I struggle to stand her presence. The effects on the mortal body of such unfettered magical exposure cannot be overestimated. She held back in order to protect us, to make sure I heard her. The Carsite weave within me this whole time. Yeah. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? I think there was a reason for that. Ooh, ooh, I, I, I want to low-key call him out. It's all too easy to miss things when we're blinded by desire. Mm, true enough. There's a reason such unwitting heroes have been the backbone of lyric and legend for as long as both have existed. Even so, I was hardly some naive apprentice at the time. I considered myself an archmage, and yet was fool enough to be mistaken for a common conjurer. At least now I'm armed with the truth and Mistress expectations. Mm -hmm. it sounds like the door to redemption is open at last. Oh my god. <laughs> All I have to do is walk through it, carrying the crown of Carsus. I, I, it is what he wants. He wants to be cured. And also, he even, even if he says he doesn't care about what she says, he wants her forgiveness. Let me ask him, is this what you want? Perhaps. Oh, There's a few other sure. options open to me. If I ever want to reclaim those parts of myself, the orb snatched away. If I ever want to be me again. You're a great man, Gal, with or without the orb. <laughs> I'll have to disagree with you there. Having not one, but two parasitic entities within your body does very little for one's faith in one's personality. Still, I should take the compliment with the same generosity it was given, so... Thank you. I still like you, girl. If I can promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this. I will use everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. I will not let you down. Now, I believe we have a date with an elder brain to get to. Yeah. Shall we? All right. She took a. I love it when Carla just ran. We started dancing. <laughs> so. Gale's hedging his bets with Mistra. I can't say I blame him. Who'd want to hold a power like the crown of Carsus in their hands just to hand it to someone else? I know what my decision would be. Oh, trust me, we all know. Of course. <laughs> wow. So that was Mistra. Pretty spectacular stuff. 
But I think Gail was right not to agree to do her bidding, no questions asked. Mm -hmm. I respect the gods, but they don't always understand what they're asking of us. Maybe immortality makes it hard to know what it's like to be one of us piggies. I Proud strongly Gail, believe that. Though, it takes some man to hold his own in front of the divine. <laughs> All right, speaking of Karlak, my dear, we're going to have to get your uh, heart in check. There you are. Hey. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Oh, God. Oh, let's hear the bad news. Oh, no. Good news, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I should have asked her. <laughs> one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlak to... Touch people. Exactly. Oh my God. It's really happening. It's been so long. Oh. <laughs> We've got the iron. Let's do this thing. Hang on. I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. What is it? Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Let Damon, Damon speak. This sounds important. Fine. Well, Hang on, what, there may be a reason why. I don't enjoy why. saying this, Karlak, but there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. What? I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus, for good, this thing is going to blow. Sooner rather what? than later. But, but still, you, you can give me something that will let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but that's all I need to know. Do it. Please. Wait, Carlin's gonna die. Me I <laughs> Just do it. She wants it. Well. Alright. This shouldn't take long. She's gonna die? Is there no way to stop that? I want to give this to her because I know this is something she's always wanted for the longest time. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. So did it work? Only one way to find out. Oh. Okay. I'm a hug her. I don't care. It might burn me, but I'm a hug her. <sighs> Thank you. Oh! Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. No, don't, don't cry. I can't believe it. <laughs> Thank you, Damon. Thank you so much. It's the least I could do. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. She just wanted that a hug for so long. engine of yours. It's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. What? I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop Aww. trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. Okay, you know what? We'll make this a happy celebration because this is something Karlik always wanted anyway, to hug her friends, you know? First things first, Karlak, you have your touch back. We ought to celebrate that. Right? All this doom and gloom. 
I have something. I can't help but feel like she accepted that she's gonna die and she's fine with it. Box. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Oh my god! This is the best day. The best day! I don't want to say this. I'm so happy for you, Kalak. I'm so happy for me, too. Now, I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. Um, anyone in mind? I'm not sure. Depends who's got me in mind. <laughs> Withers was giving me the old eye the other night. Then again, maybe it was just an old eye. <laughs> what about what Damon said about your engine? We need to get back to Avernus so it's going to blow. Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. Yeah, I get it. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. No, I understand where she's coming from. Oh my god, I really do understand where she's coming from, but I don't want her to die. What if there was a way we could just find a solution and get out, you know? It wouldn't be forever. You could return just long enough to just find someone for some solution. You heard Damon. There is no solution. It's hell or bust. I choose bust. I don't want to talk about this now. Okay. I've been given a huge gift. I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade. And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about Aww. all around me. <laughs> She's definitely- I can imagine Carla like, hugging everybody at camp. That. <laughs> Please. Okay, that's okay. I will talk about it later. All right, Carla. Like, all right. I'll leave it alone for now. Thanks, soldier. I just want to celebrate this. That's fair. At we'll talk about it later. She did say we could. So, the untouchable Karlak is untouchable no more. Mm-hmm. I'd shake her hand, but she can still snap me in two, so uh, <laughs> probably safest to skip it. <laughs> oh, my God. I know well the pain of seeing your life's hourglass running empty. Grasping at any means of slowing the grains as they slip inexorably through your fingers. Karlak's fate may be ordained, but her actions are not. She will make each breath count. Yeah. We can be sure of that. Yep. Well, I'm happy for her. At least she got something out of it, you know. Oh, is this the tombstone guy? Hang on. Is the tombstone guy here? Oh my gosh. I'm sure What's in she here? Hello? Did I just walk into some guy's house? What are you doing here? This is a- Oh, <laughs> my bad, bro. Metal pipe? Hello? What is that noise? Have people no respect for the dead? What the hell? Hello? Are you okay? <laughs> he was buried alive! I thought I was done for. Lady Look, bless you. <laughs> what the heck? What were you doing down there? Sightseeing. What do you think? I filched the wrong body and got myself buried for the trouble. Oh, Stone okay. Stone Lord he calls himself. More like stone shies. <laughs> oh, I killed his men, remember? Ooh. I've heard of him. He's a new gang boss, right? The very one. And my idiot self didn't realize till it was finger deep in his pockets. Won't be making that mistake again. Look, I ain't got much in the way of thanks, but the stiff below has some fancy doodas. You're welcome to them. Uh, okay. Well, God, he's okay. I feel not like you. Ooh, fancy. Your daughter's casket will have to wait. You're not allowed to play here. It's not respectful. We must play here. This is where they like to hide. But it's not allowed. Why are you being stupid? 
stupid. Is this part of the game? You're going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> what is up with this graveyard? Come out, sister. I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The what, smell this is the of second death. guy I've seen that's like this. Sister always hides from me. She likes to play. <laughs> Do you know where she's hiding? In the ground. Over there. <laughs> Some people covered her in dirt. <laughs> but I will find her again. Uh, okay. Have you no one else, no other family? Mother and father hide in the ground with her. I hope I'll find them soon. I like oh, this game. He's delusional. But it is less fun to play it alone. Honey, I think they're dead. He won't listen to me. I told him it's naughty to play in graveyards. Yeah, I, I don't think he gets that. Sorry. My folks are buried here. <gasps> I'd love to pay them a visit. I didn't know her parents died. Yeah, yeah, we'll go look for your parents. Don't worry. They got him, honey. They got the bastard that did this to you. <laughs> Beloved Agnes Schweitz. Her smile shined like a thousand suns. Where's Carlock's parents? Where are they at? Look. You. Merkel? Help me. Psst. Keep a lookout. The Mortark don't take kindly to raising the dead. But I won't be long, I promise. Girl, you don't want to be doing that. Who are you raising from the dead? My big brother, Garrett. He got killed by that murderer guy. But I'm gonna fix him. Now, keep watch. Girl, I don't think you want to do that. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Exhorting me, Merkel. The air crackles with power before fizzing out. The child has power but lacks control. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, you're okay. close, Merkel. I can feel your shadow. Give my brother back, please. Oh, no. Um... I don't know if I should tell her to do it. I'm I'm sorry. You're going to have to let your brother rest. It's not that I don't want to teach the kid. It's just like she doesn't have proper training, right? And things get really bad. Your brother deserves to rest in peace. Let him. The Mortark said the same thing. But I miss him. I'm sorry, kid. A lot. Fine. I won't try again. For now, at least. Yeah, uh, let's keep it that way. Where's Carlock's parents at? Grief ha is hard. Let flowers say what words never would say like some flowers. They do a wonder. Can we get- up a green Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get them for Carlock's parents? fresh ones to my husband's every few days. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm not. My husband was an ass. Oh. But he gave me three beautiful <laughs> kids. So the old goat gets flowers. I get uh. them up by Bloombridge. A druid lives that way, so you know they're extra fresh. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, let me see of the flowers. <laughs> Girl, what the hell? Here lie Pluck and Carlac Cliffgate. My parents. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Oh. Uh, sorry, I haven't visited. I've been uh, away, but I'm back now, and I brought friends. I miss you so much, but I'm happy. Dude, this I'm getting up to some really important. Maybe you can see for yourselves. I don't know. You're with me here. Anyway, taters. What does that mean? May I ask how your parents died? I was a teenager when mum passed. Bad fever. A good healer could have saved her, but she slipped away before we found one who'd take our gold. That's horrible. Dad went a few years later. He was on an errand for work, traveling the Risen Road. 
His cart overturned and caught him, just so. I was on my own after that. Fell in with Gortash not long after. If my folks had been alive, they would have sniffed him out straight away. Right. But she didn't know because she was so young. They weren't. Mum used to say there was no such thing as death. That there was only change. Dad thought that was a load of woo. <laughs> gone meant gone, unless you'd struck a deal with one of the gods. Said he had better things to do in life than beg favors off immortals. I'm not sure what I believe. I'm gonna say it's the ultimate mystery. There are many possibilities, but we'll never know until we get there. Something to look forward to. Bit morbid. Because then I want to say, don't worry, they'll be at the city of the judgment or whatever. Because, like, everybody believes in Here something differently. Carlat Cliffgate, beloved wife and mother. Oh, so she's named after her mom. Can I put the flowers on her grave? Hang on. Mortok, any luck with the carpenter? I fear not, my child. Your daughter's casket will have to wait. What? But for how long? Her rights will be said. Her body made one with the soil. Try not to focus on the how or when. Of course, Mortark. Death's blessings upon you. Hi! I am Mortark's sire, devotee of Kelimvor. Who's that? Can you guys explain that to me? <laughs> How might I be of assistance? Um, the young girl is at the grave trying to perform necromancy. Kelimvor, forgive her. There is no sin greater than refusing his deathly will. Oh, is he like the god of death? Immediately. Okay. Well, uh, don't be too hard on her. She misses her brother. I am not leaving until Lily has a god's damned coffin. I'm sorry, but our baby girl... A uh, baby. I know, love. I know. If you're here for a burial, good luck. The carpenter around back claims there's a backlog. We asked for a child-sized coffin. But I said it'll take a month. Damn, a month? Um, you lost your child, I'm so sorry. Seven years of age. And murdered. What kind of monster hurts a little girl? <laughs> Shush, love. We're going to get Lily a coffin, all right? Give her the burial she deserves. Wait, can, do you want me to talk to that guy about it? We won't, honey. Okay, I guess I can't like speak to them anymore about it. I'm sorry for your loss, but it will be a Is this Auntie Ethel? before I can take your departed. Maybe more. If you notice any other Is this the same lady or is this a different lady? The with jasmine, honeysuckle, whatever you can get. There's something strange there's some strange things happening in this graveyard. I deal with the dead, but the more talk tends to them and the living who mourn them. If you have any concerns about strange goings on, kindly speak to her. She patrols the graveyard. Good day. Okay. I'm just gonna assume they're just using the same character model. I don't know. Nina. The soil reeks of Merkel's venom. Now is the time for truth. I... I was gonna raise my big brother from the dead. Why? Oh, because I miss him. What do you miss about him? I miss... I miss his laugh. How he made everything less scary. Do you feel that warmth in your heart at his memory? Death does not mean you're apart. He is here every time you speak of him. That's sweet of her to but say. But necromancy does not give life. Yeah, that's kind of true. It twists death. Whatever abomination you summon will not be your brother. I trust me, May Mayrina needs to talk to this girl because that's what happens. She's right. Necromancy can't bring your brother back. But Merkel's Book of the Dead says it's the only way. 
Merkel's... Sweet child. How about this? We will meet every sunset to discuss and honor your brother. You will see there is peace, not fear in death. Yeah, I think she needs that. That would be nice. Not, not Merkel. Okay, we don't need another uh, uh, Thorn. <laughs> and you, thank you for alerting me to Nina's plight. I fear what would have happened had you not intervened. Yeah, because she can't control the magic to begin with. Something terrible would have happened. I can barely keep up. Okay, with I'm gonna all ask him about th if he can get a coffin for that girl. I'm not leaving without the coffin. Then you'll be a long time standing. Now, you want to bump someone else to the back of the queue? Fine, but it'll cost you. This is for a kid, please. How would you feel if you lost your child? <laughs> I have lost a kid. And I gave him the best send-off I could. Then help these people. Bloody hells. Fine. Tell them they can pick it up at sunset. Now, get out of my sight. <laughs> Your daughter's coffin will be ready soon. I took care of it. You did. <gasps> you hear that, honey? Lily was our world. Knowing that she'll be able to be put to rest properly makes things easier. Thank you. All right, we made it at the, the gravestone guy, the one where the, all the murders were, like, apparently coming from. So... Let's find out what we can find, because apparently no one works here, lives here. It's just empty. Uh, okay. Oh my god, did we all fail? God, we all failed. What the fuck? How delicious. Let's crack it open. Keeping up appearances. Clark Dar uh, Darvin Darveridge? Remember, you are in business of making of the Kala Hall's tombstones look like a genuine retail establishment. Keep all prices about half again too high so they don't sell very much inventory. Think of the shop as a stage set rather than an actual ongoing concern. Management. Let's move. Hmm. I knew it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Can we open this? The locked door has red text on it reading, All are weighted. All are embraced. None shall escape. Okay, we'll do this. Are you serious? Come on, I'm supposed to be history efficient. <laughs> roll again, roll again. Am I really gonna waste all of my inspiration for this crap? What? I'm too committed now. Nope. Jesus Christ. That phrase is ballast. This place has some connection to Orin and her cult of killers. You should learn more. Oh, <gasps> you think this is the entrance of where Lazelle may be hidden? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't want to enter just yet. But that might be where she is. Like, they're... Cause she, she said that we can't go into the sewers because it's all, like, messed up, right? This might be where she is. Alright, before we do anything, the, the fireworks guy, where did he go? Uh, now that I have a starting who learned, uh, you know, uh, invisibility, maybe he can sneak upstairs. Just, just saying. But he's gonna have to go by himself, which kind of sucks. Alright, babe. You're gonna have to do this and get upstairs. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. What the? Uh, not critical. Just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Oh, I can't stay here like this. Quietly. 
steady. Any spillage, and they'll be picking my roof beams. What the? Who the hell is this guy? Are we at temperature Done. yet? Eight, Maintain nine, ten. Good. All fingers intact. Oh, that's too easy. Bless the oblivious. Wait. Oh, they can see me. Can I talk to this guy? There's a pickpocket operating nearby. You feel the arrow of suspicion pointing your way. Uh. Let's see if I can just. <laughs> what the fuck? You've been given the benefit of. Wait, I shouldn't be up here though. I can talk to you, right? Not now. Wait, let's see if I can get the rest of them up here. Employees only, Pastia. Oh, it doesn't work. You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. Get. Okay. Ah, this is not what I wanted to do, but I think I gotta fight them. Oh my god, this is not what I wanted to do, but it's okay. Moving. Oh my god, I don't know if this is a mistake or not, but we're committed now. What's happening? Oh my god, I can hit this. Can't I? Listen, they were gonna attack children, so I have no sympathy for these people. Okay, Gail. Alright, that does something, right? Don't waste a step. Ah! What happened? I fell! Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Oh, because of the ice. God damn it. Yeah, okay. I forgot. There was ice there. Well, lucky for us, there's a lot of barrels around, so we can use them to our advantage. Who is this guy? Damn! What the f- Oh my god, I should have saved. Bastard. Yes, you will. Okay, uh, can I reach any of this? Feel that. Oh, uh, maybe I can go for. Oh, which one can I go for? No, I'm getting the F out of here. Get me out of here. There we go. Creator, destroyer. Torment. <laughs> All right. Oh, who's who's also fighting? There's somebody else down there. Oh God. Oh, it's probably the shopkeepers at the front. Nothing important is ever easy. Okay, we. Oh, you're still here. Ignis. 
Spirits have seen everything. Oh my god! Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, I can't. I'm just gonna bite. Wait, are these the only people left? Oh, okay. I miss. Damn it. Yeah, these people down here. They have something to hide, though, because they got a hatch, too. Are they gonna come up here, or, like, what are they doing? Hello? <laughs> Alright, so we got everybody on this floor, correct? What the hell is that? Now we just gotta go back downstairs. Haste. Another fight. Let's go. What path lies before me? Bane's command. Okay, uh... Oh. This is gonna feel good. Okay, um... Can she jump from here? Karmak has a good amount of, like, maneuver. There we go. Over there. Oh my god, she missed. Ah. Alright. I don't know if I should have attacked them, but hey, I had no choice. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say, I had no choice. They had to die. Okay, why would you go there, though? I'll flank. How smart. What now? Yup, that does it. <clears throat> okay, it's just this lady that's left. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Wait, can you attack her? Eat it. What fools these mortals be. Okay, hang on, hang on. Gail, can you jump this? Gail, can you jump this? She ain't even dead it. yet. Oh Does my gosh. Anything? Okay, I'll do it. Oh my god. It didn't have to be this way, but hey. Alright, let's go see what's in that uh, cellar downstairs. I'm curious. Watch how you go. <laughs> Please save me. <laughs> can't take much more. I'm so sorry! Gail got blue and <laughs> smithereens, dude! As soon as I said, we gotta be careful, there's probably traps, and I just blow everybody up. <laughs> oh my god. How for a skeleton king? Wait a second. Oh no, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Doesn't this look like a door or something? Still okay, I came here earlier and I didn't go through with it because I was scared of 
what was happening in here. Let me switch Gale out and bring like Will or something, because like I'm I'm concerned. Like, what is this place? How beautiful it must be to know you can hold a hand, caress a cheek after going so long without. We'll get Karlak fixed up, right? There's always a way. There has to be. I, b I, I believe there is. But That's also, the Will's spirit. such a romantic. <laughs> All right, let's go in here and see what the hell's going on, because there was like a bunch of undead people and I was very confused. Hello? Are you going to attack me if I come in here? You. The hell is this guy? You do not have an appointment. Oh, uh, okay. What possible reason could you have to enter the presence of Mr. Carrion? Um, what kind of appointments do you offer? That depends on what torments you. Love, vengeance, regret. The dead can be put to all sorts of purposes in the hands of one adept at their manipulation. I am a spirit, Medium. Oh, cool. One who wanders the hazy boundaries of mortality. I thought I had to fight this dude. Okay, can living, you read my fortune, sir? And the knowledge of the dead. You do not possess the aptitude to attempt such a journey. Nor are you the caliber of client I would usually offer to escort. What kind of clients do you accept? Only a very select few, taken from the highest reaches of society. So I find them to be pants. far more appreciative of my services than the average mourner, and far more generous in paying for them. Hmm. Oh, what do these services involve? Whatever the customer desires. Or at least whatever they can afford. So he kind of sounds like Which Withers, their honestly. Own desperation. Some crave a word of solace. Some wish to see, to summon, to torment. I provide for them all according to their merit. You are not deserving of such a gift. Unless you some other purpose here. Our consultation is at an end. Okay. Unless, of course, you are looking for a job. Whoa, wait, what kind of job? Is there anything I can do for you? Hmm. Yes. My spirit stir. They think you might be capable. Okay. Very well. You may help me with a small matter. I have an assistant, Thrombo. A conduit I used to maintain my connections with the ethereal plane. Unfortunately, <laughs> he has deserted his duties. He has not gone far, but given the sensitivity of his nature, I would prefer that he is not free to roam the city. Return Thrombo's body to me, and I will see. What does he look like? Compensate. Is he just like a undead guy? Like, you know what I mean? First, tell me why he ran. It's quite simple. He resented having to work for a living. The undead can be rather lazy in that regard. Okay. He was always a simple, contented creature. A beggar to the bone. Perhaps he has forgotten how ungenerous the world can be. Or simply prefers to live in the gutter. If he does not value the gift I gave in reanimating that wretched flesh of his, then I will take it back. It is my property, not his. Okay. Um, I might be able to help for a fee, of course. I am more than able to offer you suitable recompense for such a task. An item, perhaps. One that resonates with your 
spiritual energies. Ooh. The spirits will help me decide once the task is performed. Okay. First, you must bring me back Thrombo's body. Baldur's Gate is a big city. A name is not much to go on. Had I thought you were the type to shout his name from the rooftop, <laughs> Don't give me hints! I would never <laughs> have offered you the job. Just give me Thrombo hints! Thrombo is not alone in his ingratitude. He has led others in my service astray. Three of them. Oh, I've already seen two! And zombies yeah, 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 I've already seen the them. lack even Thrombo's modicum of intelligence. It should be no great task to wring his location from one of them. Okay, you've got to deal. Then, might as well. Hey, if I get an item, it might help. Our witnesses. The arrangement is made. They will follow your progress with great interest. As will I. Well, that's not what I thought was going to happen around here. That's Come um. Closer, spirits. Interesting. I have need of you. Are we allowed to go upstairs? Damn, they all seem like they want to disobey, honestly. Y'all just live here? Evil, evil, evil. Father Carson, my ass, you're nothing but a scam artist. They say necessary evil is one to talk over loved ones, but I say just plain evil. As soon as I have evidence of enough to report, you- Oh, for the fist. They're gonna report them for this to watch. Damn, how many more? Azarian, my love, can you unlock this? There's like a whole you are third floor? Let's get going. Holy sh! Swift as my feet can carry me. That smell. Come closer, spirits. <laughs> These corpses aren't the freshest. What the hell? Okay, they're not gonna attack us, so that's good to know, but. I'm just so confused as to what's going on. Not allowed up. Must go down. Customers downstairs. Okay. All right, so that's going to be a call for Astarian. All right, go, babe. Go, babe. I just want to see what's up here. Okay, guy. What the fuck? Are they just eating people? What the hell? What's in here? I can feel the energy coming from that portrait. Necromantic okay. magic. Ooh. And he can't check it. Okay, it has to be me. Can I pick that up? <sighs> Okay, we're gonna have to come back here later. I guess when we talk to Thrumbo and whoever else is working for these people, I do wonder what's going on too. Okay guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. So, we talked with Mistra. Mistra made an offer for Gale. Again, don't really know what to make of that. But we also ran into more of Astarian's family. And yeah, the, I, his, his storyline is so complicated. It's just kind of why I'm nervous to start his personal quest because what he said to me, I'm still thinking about it. I can't make him what I think he can be. Carlac not being able to cure her heart and she's accepting that she's gonna die. I don't know how I feel about that either. And uh, also dealing with all the, uh, we dealt with all the murders we dealt, we found probably the lair where, where Orin is hiding lays out too, I don't know. There's just a lot to do and I still hope I'm doing this in the correct way. Just, I just feel so bad that Lazelle is not a part of this because I really, really want her to see like most of this. And I can't start Raphael's thing yet until I get her back. So I'm going to wait till I get Lazelle back and then we'll do the whole thing with uh, Raphael and the House of Hope. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Baldur's Gate, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys know when I upload the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!